It's me, Phil's Blue, and I'm back with another review, oh man, and it's going to be awesome because I got, yeah, Soundwave Spy Patrol 3rd Unit, yeah, that's a mouthful, took me like four tries to get that done, yeah, so uh, yeah, I just got them and I thought, man, I'd better, I'd better like uh, show everybody this because I keep getting sidelined with so many things. Yeah, and I know a lot of people have been asking me, Felsbug, where is you? Why are you not doing videos? Felsbug, where are you? And well, here in Taiwan, we're not under lockdown, so work is just work. So I've just been working and working, and behind me you see some lovely pictures. Yeah, there's a lot of art going around, and that's because I'm doing some work, yeah, for a really cool writer. His name is John Deli Rose. Yeah, which is very cool name there, John Dilly Rose. And yeah, here's one of his books right here. It's the only one. It's the only one I got that's uh, physical. The other ones I have on my uh, on my phone. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I really enjoy his steampunk book. Yeah, for steaming country. Yeah, I really enjoyed that series. And then I got to do some comics for him. So uh, yeah, and right now I'm doing a um. I'm doing an ash can for Robotoad, and it's going to be eight awesome pages. And I'm going to put a link in there, so if you want to get it, I would really appreciate you picking up my book. Yeah, because I'm very excited to have a book published. And, uh, yeah, and the story's great, and I think you'll really like it. So, on to the toys. Let's do this. Woohoo! All right, and here is the uh, instruction booklet there. And yeah, WFC G S10. G S10. Alright. And when you open it up, there's the name. So we have Decepticon Wing Thing, Decepticon Frenzy. And then just has the real simple, simple instructions. So easy. Even I can do it. Yep. And then in reverse, yeah. And I'm really surprised that they had two rat bat molds. Instead of putting in, you know, uh, Buzzsaw. That's really strange to me. But yeah, up here we see Scar and Knock right there. And then we have the figures in their cassette modes. And of course I have Ratbat. Well, I have Ratbat here. Ratbat and uh, Ratbat and Rumble here. And yeah, they're ex pretty much the same exact mold for... for, for Rumble, they're the same exact mold, no changes. Um, for Wild, Wild Thing and uh, Rat Bat, they're exactly the same. And then when we get to um, Scar, he just he has a little bit of difference here, and it's real hard to see. But yeah, let me put those two next to each other. But there's just a little bit of difference in that little tail area. And then when you get to the head. Head sculpts are completely different. But when we get to the chest and everything else, exactly the same. So, yep, that's it. And we'll go and I'll put them into their, um, I guess, bat and uh, robot modes. All right. Woohoo. All right. And here we have, okay, we have Rumble, Knock, and Frenzy. Yeah. And, yeah, they're very cool little guys. And, of course, you know, you need to have, if you have Rumble, you need to have Frenzy. It's just automatic. And, actually, I really like the design of Knock. Because Knock, let's move this far, because Frenzy is just, well, I mean, yeah. Frenzy is just Rumble with a uh, different coat of paint, but, yeah. But Knock, yeah, he's got that nice little new head sculpt, which is very cool. 
I like it. I like the way it looks, and I really like his colors. It's got these really cool colors, and yeah, everything about him very cool. And if we look over here, I'll come over here, and I gotta move his legs forward. Sit down, Rumble. Yeah, but right there, or no, sorry, Frenzy. I know, I know, it's a big thing. Frenzy Rumble, Frenzy Rumble. Well, Hasbro settled it. This is now Frenzy. Rumble is the red one. Yeah, they decided. So we just go with it. And, you know, it's only cartoon, guys. Only cartoon. But yeah, there they are together. They look really good. Nice paint apps on them. The only thing is, of course, in cassette mode. It's really, really, uh, hmm sparse <laughs> you know it's just like it folds into a box that's good enough doesn't need to look like anything so I'm sure repro labels will fix it for us as always and articulation wise no the head does not move and in uh, cassette mode you can always see his head sticking out he does have shoulders 360 and his wrist will bend in because of transformation no waist articulation, but his leg goes out to the side, goes forward, goes back, and he has a really nice knee. Really, really nice knee there, and that's it. Um, does he have a rotation there? Yeah, and he does have a rotation at the knee. And those, that's the articulation for, you know, Rumble, fr Rumble Frenzy, and Knock. So let's take a look at the... Uh, Rat back crew. All right. All right, and here we have Rat Bat, Scar, and Wild Thing right here. And man, these guys are just, I don't know, I like them. They're weird, but I really like them because they kind of look like really, like muscle men with really big long arms. And then they got little tiny feet, and it makes me happy. <laughs> Just looking at him makes me happy. And I'm sorry, but... Alright, let's bring him in here. Wild Thing, because of his bright orange color... Like, there's no way this thing could ever be considered threatening. There is no way at all, ever. It's like a Care Bear. He, like, is, just has a look like, Wow, there's a nice, cute little Care Bear there. Yeah, and the arms, you know, they just... Of course, for bat mode, they go out to the sides. His little feet will move up for transformation. His head will move up for transformation. And that's really it. You know, he doesn't really have a lot of... And he's got, of course, the bends. Where you can close them. And that's really used for... You know, when you want to stand him up like this, yeah, you're going to be putting his arms down and getting him to lean on his arms. And, yeah... But very, very cute face they designed for him and also for uh, for Ratbat over here. You know, it's the same face mold, but the, the orange really brings out the cuteness of it. Yeah, we can admit things are cute sometimes. All right, and then over here, here is Scar. And Scar is the opposite. They gave him a really great face. I mean, they did a great job on that. It's really good. Nice design. He looks evil and bad. And everything, you know, a wild thing is not. And, uh, yeah. So there they are. So really, you know, you're getting two extra rat bat molds. Which I still, I find it strange that they did that. But I'm very happy with Knock and with uh, Frenzy. I keep wanting to say Rumble. I'm used to the blue Rumble. But, uh, yeah, Frenzy. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the summation. All right. Woohoo! How red time for the summation. So, what do I think about Soundwave Spy Patrol 3rd Unit? Man, I really, really like these guys. And I like them a lot more than I thought I would. And I was really just getting them for Frenzy. I mean, Rumble. Wait, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Frenzy is right. Yeah, yeah. The blue one is Frenzy. 
The red one is Rumble. Ah, man, I'm gonna need a map. Because <sighs> blue is always going to be rumble to me. It's just how I growed up. Yeah. You growed up on G1 and it's always, yeah, that way. Even though I know the toy. The toy was the opposite, but we never paid attention to that. We just watched the show and said, wow, look at that. That's rumble. Uh, where was that? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the toys are great fun. I mean, all the Micro Masters are awesome. I mean, and Siege is just one of the or I should say War for Cybertron, Siege, and now Earthrise are some of the best figures that have ever come out of Hasbro. And I love them. They are awesome. I like all of them, although I gotta admit, you know, hey, Wild Thing, you just can't be a Decepticon. You are too cute. I mean, that's just it. You got the cute colors. You're like, you're like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, he's like Winnie the Pooh color. Yeah, he can't be a bad guy. But uh, it doesn't matter because they are nice. They're shiny. They're good, so I think I'm just going to come over here and, uh, <coughs> oh man, consumerism at its finest right there. <coughs> oh man. Nice, shiny, and good. Good toys. Good toys. Oh, and please check out uh, Robo Toad here at the bottom, and check out my good friend Foo, and also check out uh, John Deli Rose, yeah. Check out his website, yeah, right over there, his YouTube page, and you can check out his Amazon books, because he is a fine writer, really good, and I love his stuff, and, you know, if you can, please pick up my book. I will really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, and uh, bye!